Hey guys, Vince here from Auto Industria, and yes, we are back. Uh, now, these past few months, we hope you've been staying home, staying safe, and uh, know that we can actually drive through this whole thing together. Uh, now, I'm not wearing a mask because, one, we're observing very strict social distancing, and two, well, I feel great. In fact, I feel super great. Yes, right behind me is the big boy of the entire Fuso line, the Fuso Super Great Tractor Head. And Fuso Philippines has handed us the keys to not just one, but two of these big boys that are meant to move the economy because, well, our economy needs to get back on track. Let's go take this out and show you what the Fuso Super Great can do right here, right now on autoindustria.com. The Fuso Super Great comes to us from Japan. Uh, in 1983, this model emerged as the successor to the Fuso The Great. Uh, talk about English, because how do you make something called The Great even better? Well, you add super to it. So it's a JDM truck then? Well, yes and no. Uh, it is made in Japan, which is why it has the Mitsubishi and the Fuso logo right there on the front. But uh, Mitsubishi Fuso is now owned by Daimler. So if you look around the vehicle, you will see a lot of touches that are very German. For instance, Blue Tech. Blue Tech is something that Mercedes, uh, it's familiar to Mercedes Benz owners. You look around here at the back, the oil filter, the fuel filter, it's all Mercedes Benz. Even this, the Ad Blue has the Mercedes Benz logo for uh, the emissions control system. And even the keys. Fuso, Mitsubishi, and Mercedes-Benz. It's quite confusing. So it, in effect, it's really a Eurasian. My Nihongo is kaput ne. Now both of these Fuso Super Greats are actually still incomplete in this configuration because they are tractor heads. They're meant to pull semi-trailers at the back, uh, which is why they have these things called uh, fifth wheels. <laughs> Uh, it's basically their way of dating to a trailer. Uh, now, these are also two very different vehicles. This is the FPR. It's a six-wheeler, four-by-do uh, tractor head. Uh, it has a gross combination weight of 45 tons, or metric tons, or which is uh, 45,000 kilograms. That means combined the tractor head and the trailer and the payload. This one is the bigger version. This is the 10-wheeler, uh, six by four, uh, Fuso, super great FVR. Yes, I'm sorry, I had to get through the whole name. It is quite long, but uh, this one is rated for a gross combination weight of, well, 55 tons or 55,000 kilograms. But not just a small bits and pieces here and there are Mercedes-Benz. Even the engine itself is Mercedes. It's the OM457. It's a 12-liter, six-cylinder turbo diesel engine. Uh, one version of uh, the Fuso Super Great, it makes 401 PS and 2,000 Newton meters of torque at about uh, 1,100 RPM. In this version, the more powerful version, it makes 455 PS and 2,200 Newton meters of torque. That's gonna to be plenty to get, well, whatever you can load in the back, moving in a hurry.
now we're aboard the new Fuso Super Great Tractor Head. Um, I can tell you off the bat that the vehicle, the cabin itself, is very, very driver centric. Of course, you expect that this is a working truck. So everything is made for the convenience uh, of the driver to be able to operate all the functions uh, easily and properly. Uh, for instance, you know, this is canted towards me, this is canted towards me. Um, you have a control panel here with an easy reach and there's a lot of buttons on it you wouldn't normally find in any other vehicle other than, you know, big heavy duty trucks. Like, for example, the starting gear, uh, starting position indicator here for the, for the gearbox. Uh, you can adjust the, the starting gear depending on the kind of load you have uh, when it comes to the trailer. Uh, you also have the high range and low range for reverse. That's something you can change depending on uh, what you need. You've got a nice, uh, actually, gauge cluster here. Very, very clear. Uh, they indicate the power band, the green zone for, for your engine, so you, where you're getting you know, maximum optimal torque uh, for your drive. The, the normal temperature gauges, uh, the multi-info display. There's a lot of information here uh, for the normal driver. So that's something you may have to educate um, if you're if you're employing drivers to operate uh, the Fuso super great it's a pretty good piece of machinery uh, you have a, well, a simple AM FM mp3 radio it's nothing fancy there but it's got USB and aux in so you know the driver can enjoy some some of uh, his or her own music um, you have the AC system which is actually pretty powerful I like it that way um, you have here well some you actually have a CD player, an old school. I have not seen a CD player in a while. Um, let's see if we can eject that a bit further. Or what is this? I do not know. What? Analog something. I don't know what this is. One of the things you will notice uh, here is that this is not a manual gearbox. Well, it is, but it's automatically uh, activated or actuated. So it's gonna drive somewhat like an automatic. There will be a bit of a difference and I'm actually anticipating that for later. There's a perception that vehicles of this size are very unsafe, they're very scary. But um, in, in terms of the Fusa Supergate, they took a lot of steps to make it a lot safer actually. First, you have anti-lock brakes. That's pretty important because it gives you more control uh, if you're braking in you know, very slippery situations. You have anti-slip regulation, which also helps you out in that kind of thing. And then you have the hill start assist to you know, prevent the vehicle from going backwards when you're stuck on an incline, you know, the kind that they test uh, new drivers for. Uh, but of course, the backbone of the safety of any vehicle, particularly these heavy trucks, is the actual braking system itself. It's called an air brake, uh, or well, compressed air brake system. This is a big vehicle. It's almost, almost 2.5 meters wide. So you have to be very, very careful um, when it comes to driving it. And thankfully, we're in a closed course, so there's not gonna be any um, traffic uh, to encounter here. The mirrors are really, really big. It's easy, it's, it's very easy to spot things that you wouldn't normally spot in any other vehicle. Uh, this is a cab over body, oh, sorry, cab over uh, tractor head. So turning radius is actually quite tight if you're not pulling a trailer. If you're pulling a trailer, of course, it becomes a completely different animal. The real trick of this vehicle is its automated manual transmission. It, well, you can drive it like a conventional automatic. You know, it's very, con very comfortable, very easy, very straightforward. But you, to, to get the most out of it, um, it's good to try lifting off the throttle whenever you feel it shifting a gear. That way, it's it becomes a whole lot smoother to drive. And especially if you're carrying some kind of precious cargo, it's gonna be, well, easier on the cargo as well. It's very easy to get the hang of driving something like the Fusa Super Great because it is quite comfortable and I can only imagine what it's gonna be like on you know, long drives. It's gonna be a lot less fatigue. 
uh, your, your drivers will be a bit more relaxed. So hopefully they should be able to work a little better. But um, yeah, the learning curve here, it's not much. It's pretty much drive and go. You just have to really read the manual to be able to take care of a vehicle like this. And in, if that's the case, you have plenty of Mitsubishi and Fuso dealerships that can help you out in that regard. Now power, <laughs> it's right there. Um, the, the torque comes in really, really early and sometimes you feel it lurch. Uh, lurch forward when you if, if you want to step on the on the gas with a bit of gusto um, the one thing different about this is because it's it's an automated manual you can actually you do actually do have a, a bit of a sport mode uh, for this truck uh, you can push to shift up and pull to shift down yep just like the video games now as you know we've been driving quite a few trucks uh, on autoindustria.com uh, and they're actually quite a bit of fun, you know, I mean, of course, you can only imagine what it's like to actually work um, driving one of these things day in and day out. Um, but this one, yeah, this is actually, it's actually nice. Of course, uh, you will have to get a different, you know, a license restriction for this. And it's a, it's a different um, kind of training. Uh, but if you do have a chance to drive one of these, especially this one, this super great, which Actually, it is pretty good. Um, you'll actually enjoy yourself, especially if you like you know, driving different things, unique things. Um, and we're getting to do a bit of that here at Auto Industrial. Pretty cool. A truck like this would really be used uh, a lot for logistics type operations. That's really where it belongs. Um, when you, you, you'll see a lot of super greats if you go to any port area in either in the Philippines or even in Japan. It's actually one of the most popular ones there. And some of them even like to modify their trucks. They call them the Dekotra, uh, which is basically decoration truck. You know, it's very similar to the way our, um, our jeepney drivers will turn their vehicles into walking works or running works of art, supposedly at first. Uh, but yeah, there there's actually a movement in Japan called the, the, the Deko, Dekotra to well yeah make their adorn their trucks and however however they want and they're pretty cool to see but another use of uh, something like the super great uh, tractor head um, it's actually got a military use as well because the japanese uh, ground self-defense force they use this for uh, well to pull their tanks on a trailer much in the same way that a construction company would put a bulldozer in the back Well, that was a really interesting and surprisingly very, very easy drive in the new Fuso Super Great. Uh, it shows us really the next generation of trucks from Fuso and what you get when you put together the technology, the capability and the safety and the strengths of two great companies, Fuso and their parent Daimler. The result, as you can see, is super great. Um, now, the pricing of these models are not generally released to the public. Besides, in this sector, you're not really buying at SRP anymore. It depends on your company's needs uh, and as well as the size of your fleet. But if you want to know more, you can always visit any Fuso dealership in the country or the many Mitsubishi dealerships nationwide. They'll be more than happy to assist you. Uh, this is Vince of Auto Industria. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe. Be sensible and don't forget that if we all follow these rules, we can all drive through this together.